Welcome to Bible Basics. Our lesson today is the Logos. Two verses of Scripture take us back to the beginning. Genesis 1-1, in the beginning, God. John 1-1, in the beginning, was the Word. The Greek for word in this verse is logos. Logos carries the idea of plan, design, blueprint. It's God's master plan, his grand design, his divine blueprint. Logos comes from the root lego. Lego, <laughs> now there's a word we're familiar with. It is defined as Put in order, arrange, gather, to lay forth. Logos carries the following meanings. Computation, especially the divine expression. Embodying a conception or idea. Calculating. The word as embodying the divine will. Thus, Logos is the divine blueprint. Divine wisdom never operates on a whim. It's never reactionary, but rather calculates before acting. In the beginning, God, in wisdom, calculated and laid forth his detailed pattern for the ages. Thus, God declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My purpose shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. Known unto God are all his works from the beginning of the ages. The purpose of Yahweh shall stand for the ages, the designs of his heart for generation after generation. In the beginning, prior to any revelation or execution, God has his divine plan that he unfalteringly and with minute precision carries forth throughout the ages, all according to plan. In his Logos, his blueprint, he declared the end from the beginning, knowing all that he would do beforehand, generation after generation. In the very beginning, God laid before himself his detailed Logos, his blueprint, his pattern, his design, his plan, his model, his formula. It is always before him, and he never deviates from it. All originates out of God, all operates through God, and ultimately all returns back to God, simply because God had a Logos. Listen to me read what Alan Burns wrote. God made up his mind concerning the outcome of creation. The ages are unfolding the determination of God. What we find in the ages is not a possibility, but a purpose. Humanity is not a divine speculation, but rather one of God's investments. God is the God of certainty and not of chance, and he has made up his mind and the ages are working out his plan. Christ is at the center of God's Logos. He's the blueprint's embodiment, its incarnation, its personification, and its manifestation. God's Logos is focused on the end, that he would be all in all, and his plan is ultimately accomplished through Christ, God's divine conclusion, the full execution of his Logos. Thus, the Logos is God's master purpose of the ages. His blueprint, his pattern, his design, his plan, his model, his formula. And Christ is its center. The blueprint's embodiment, its incarnation, its personification, its manifestation. Christ is the divine prototype after which God is building the new creation, the new humanity. This is all according to the purpose of the ages which he made in Christ Jesus our Lord. 
And thus it was that the Logos was made flesh and dwelt among us. Thus we may paraphrase John 1, 1 through 4 and 14 as follows. In the beginning was the divine blueprint. God's master plan lay before him. In fact, he himself was the blueprint. All things came into being through this plan. And apart from this design, not even one thing came into being which came into being. God's model contained life. And this life was the enlightenment of men. And God's divine pattern became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth.